Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have a little DIY of a radio flyer inspired wagon. I hope you guys enjoy and if you guys want to find out how I made it, keep watching. Okay, so first you're going to need one of these spell boxes that I got at Dollar Tree and make sure you get it in the largest size that they come in. Then you will also need some jumbo popsicle sticks that I got at Walmart. You will also need regular popsicle sticks that you can get at Dollar Tree. Some wooden dowels from Dollar Tree. And then caps if you can find any lying around your house. And a ruler. And last, whatever paint that you want to use, I use red, black, and white for mine. And I picked these up at Walmart. Okay, so first you're going to go start off at the bottom of your box. You're going to put your ruler at that bottom edge and you're going to trace at the top of your ruler. Make sure you go around all three sides of the box because this is going to be the base of your wagon. Okay, so now you're going to begin ripping off the book cover case on the box. And it's pretty easy to get it off. Um, it's okay if it gets a little messed up because we're going to be painting over this. And the glued parts come off pretty easily. So that shouldn't be too hard. Now that it's all off and done, you're going to take the ruler and do the same exact thing that you did on the other three sides to this last side that had been covered by the fake book cover. Now go ahead and take a box cutter and you are going to start cutting along that line that you just created. After you're done cutting it off, Go ahead and take a sponge or anything that you have, sandpaper, and go ahead and sand down the edges of that box. Now you're going to start painting. I like using these makeup sponges to paint. Um, I chose to do mine in the color red. So we're going to start painting all around the sides of your box. So now take a jumbo popsicle stick and you are going to trace the edges of one side of the box and cut it down to match that side. Now you're going to do this on each side and make sure that you have two for each side. Some of these will be longer and some of these will be shorter. But you should have four long ones and four short ones. The box cutter was really hard to cut the popsicle sticks, so I just used scissors and it was a little bit difficult too, but I was able to manage and to get, it, get them all cut down. Now, like I said, you will be left with four long ones and four short ones. Now with your regular popsicle sticks, you're going to take eight of them and you're going to take off about half an inch on the top of each one of them. Next, you're going to take those regular popsicle sticks and you are going to glue them down in the corners of your box. Now first, I am gluing them down on the shorter ends of the box, but later I will glue down some more popsicle sticks in the corners but on the longer sides of the box.
so we have kind of created an L shaped in the corner of the box with the popsicle sticks. And make sure that you try to glue down those edges that the two popsicle sticks are making as well, just so that it looks more put together and nice. Okay, so we're going to start gluing down our larger popsicle sticks. So you're going to put glue on those regular size popsicle sticks and begin putting, laying them down on top. Now, some of the sides, like I said, are going to be longer and you're going to have another two sides that will be shorter. Okay, so now you're going to take one of those wooden dowels and you're going to paint it in whatever color that you'd like. And then you're going to take a second wooden dowel. You're going to cut off about an inch of that wooden dowel. And then you're going to also paint it whatever color. And that's going to become the handle on your wagon. So go ahead and glue it right on top of that first wooden dowel. Now you're going to take your handle and you're going to push it through one of the smaller ends of your wagon and you're going to glue it down onto the side of the wagon. So before gluing your wheels on, make sure they are painted and then you're going to just begin putting hot glue on top and gluing them underneath your wagon. just began decorating I decided to do a little bit of distressing and I added the word radio flyer on the side you guys do whatever you want to do to your wagon and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in my next video